Yep, this is the video that is all about changing the front brake pads on this Canem Spider. And of course, I'm Martin from martinthevlogger.com slash shop. So the largest European shop for Canem Spider and Riker aftermarket parts. More than 350 items as for today on my shop. Uh, very fast video. I didn't plan to do it, but we need to change the brake pads on this project. And you can follow the whole rebuild of this Daytona on my YouTube channel. So I'll show you why not to show you how to change the brake pads. It's quite easy. You can do it at home. And I will tell you what is the experience on changing the brake pads, uh, how often, why EBC, and we will do the installation. I think this is pretty fair and square. Now, 2022 rules, no bullshit around, straight to the point. Two, uh, no video at, uh, how cool is that? For that, I'm running a new promo. This is a memorabilia you can buy on martinthevlogger.com slash shop so I can continue delivering content on YouTube without boring video ads. So in case you want this, in case you like what I do, in case you would like to support this channel, martinthevlogger.com slash shop, memorabilia. Remember, always have fun. Now enough of this bullshit. Let's get started. All right, very quickly, what is the experience with uh, EBC brake pads and what is the cycle? What is the other option maybe? Uh, cycle, usually uh, every like two cycles, you need to change once at the back. So that's my kind of experience. So two times, like every second time you're changing the back. That's kind of my experience, plus minus. And uh, how often? I don't know. It depends uh, how crazy you are. Sometimes 15,000 kilometers, sometimes 25. So it really depends. Now, as for the brake pads, like, are they really better uh, than a stock Brembo? I think the price is quite interesting. And two, I don't know how the EBC is doing it, but they are a little bit better. I don't expect um, a different planet or like out of the mind, mind blowing performance, but they're a little bit better and they can last a little bit longer. I don't know how they are doing it because usually one thing avoids the other one, but they are, they are pretty okay. They are better than the stock, if I may say. Uh, rotors, again, it's about, um, it's about price. They look better, they are a little bit better ventilated, but again, don't think like you will put EBC rotors right over there and your bike will stop immediately. Like it will, or like spiders are stopping quite well, Overheating is the trouble. I don't want to mix installation videos. We are going to installation uh, with uh, commenting. So at the end of the video, I'll show you a professional solution. All right, how to do the job. And you can see I don't have a wheel already because we are putting new wheels on the... Anyway, it's a different story. But if you don't know how to remove the wheel, I don't think this job is for you anyway. But just to tell you, clockwise, you are uh, tightening up the screws. Anti-clockwise, you are removing them. And of course, first have the bike completely on the floor, untight the screws, raise the bike, completely remove the screws, remove the wheel, that's it. So you will definitely need lift, and lift goes, uh, where is the mud flap? There is a ring, uh, and there is a kind of a, a, a like stronger area where to put the lift so you can raise it, all right? That's very, very easy. Now, the next job, what we need to do, we need to remove this bolt from other side. I think it's T30. I will double check. And we need to remove actually this thing right over here. This metal piece as uh, just, uh, you know, like protection in order not to fall off. So just like this. So it's confirmed it's T30. And what I recommend you to have this kind of extender because otherwise you will simply not get in. The next thing, just pull the brake pads out. Now, this brake pad, uh, I think it's still good to go for about 5,000 kilometers. Have a look, ha have a look at the difference, okay? Now, the reason why we are changing it, changing it, of course, is because the bike has brand new oil and everything, and it will be, you know, pain in the ass to come and stop in 5,000 kilometers for changing brake pads. Uh, what you need to do now is to remove this, all right? So just like this, this will go away. And in case you want, uh, what I usually do, where it is, in case you want, 
you can do a brake cleaner and clean the thing gently. They are identical, so that's all fine. Uh, all you have to know is that two like this, so one pack like this, it's for one side of your bike only, so you need two, all right? So four of these brake pads. This shorter side goes, where is this ring? Just like this, it's all fine. Now what you should do, because of course the brake pads were thinner, okay, so we will need to push the pistons in. So how you to do it correctly? So I would recommend to open the brake fluid uh, reservoir, just like this. And now you see the, the pistons, two of them are out. So we will push them in. And now, of course, this thing goes on the rotor. It's quite obvious, I'm just saying. And you have this tiny hook on the bottom. Now, how it goes on one side, it goes down. On the other side, it goes up. And how do you know, like, on which side? Here is a tiny, what it is, like, like a hole or whatever. So where is the hole on a, on a caliper? There, this, this hook goes. So just like this, all right? And let's do the other side as well. All right, with the other side, it's the same process. You need to place this back on from the old brake pad. Now the hook goes on, a, on the top. And again, I had to press the pistons in. So it will go... Okay, it will go like this. It's kind of tricky when I'm recording and trying to do the installation, but it's there. And just to show you, it's like 35 degrees outside. All right, and now it's the same routine, basically. First, you need to insert this clip. It goes into that hole right over there. Uh, and the shape, this one, that shape goes in. So into the caliper. As we will move, it needs to go, where is the bolt? So the bolt goes in. Get, get, get and tie the bolt and put this you know like protection there is actually a small tiny rail put it in there and you get this is it i mean this way of course you need to do the other side it's like what without recording <laughs> video uh, it's like 15 minutes job something like that you just need to be comfortable to make your hands dirty and uh, you can save something like what? 70, 80, 90 dollars, something like that. Uh, maybe some experience that I have had over the time. Um, some bikes, and of course, you're messing up with brake pads, with brakes. Make sure when you are leaving, hit the brake so everything works fine. Now, my experience is that from time to time, the bike shoots an error code after the change of the brake pads it's because of different level of fluid. Usually it settles down. Nothing will need to be redone uh, in a BRP center or on a, you know, on desk or whatever. So you should be like completely fine. Guys, thank you. Oh, I forgot um, the professional solution. Have a look at this. Of course, this is the beast. And one of a kind solution, six pistons. Uh, Rotas, double layer, this is double layer uh, caliper, highly ventilated, super big performance. They are like super like racing brakes. And uh, who is watching me, I introduce you this upgrade. I have it on my shop. Unfortunately, I have very last, it's very expensive and I have very last set. It's something like 2,500, 600 euros, something like that. And I have very last set and there will be most probably no more because it's super hard to communicate with the partner that delivers it to me and I'm just tired. I just can't cope up with that. If somebody's not talking to me on time, 
hopefully you can understand. So last set with plenty of brake pads, so I'm stocked up, that's not a problem. And yeah guys, thank you very much for watching and in case you like what I do, remember the memorabilia, remember always have fun and remember, <laughs> always have fun and visit martindablogger.com slash up.